back again, everybody. Today, we are going to make, well, let me say welcome again to Granny's Cook Good Kitchen. And today, it's going to be all about baked sweet potato yams. Now, normally, I would do my yams on top of the stove, but today, y'all, we're going to bake them in the oven, but we're going to do our same syrupy goodness process a little different but it would be the same as if I was doing it on top of the stove so first let me go in with and it's gonna be a lot of butter to some of y'all two sticks I'm sorry two tablespoons plus one stick and this is real butter y'all not margarine and it is salty yes I rather just deal with salty butter that way you will have um, your season already in the butter. Now, some people do like to use unsalted butter. That's because they like to control the salt uh, portion in their um, butter. But yeah, I just go with salted butter. Now, once this here cooked down, we're gonna kinda cook this down to sort of like a syrupy caramel, syrupy caramel consistency. So we're just letting this butter kind of melt down. Just enough there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sugar. I have one cup of sugar, white sugar, plus a fourth cup of brown sugar. Now, if you don't, you know, well, I'm using this much amount of sugar because I actually cut up four big size of potatoes. So they're pretty, it was pretty huge. So we're gonna let this kind of cook down here and it is okay to stir it. We're not making caramel, so if we was making caramel, we would just let it just do what it do. But it is okay to stir it at this point. Just kind of get it all together. candy yams I think you will love this recipe here you will love uh, cooking it this way like I say you can either do it on top of the stove but today I'm just kind of want to just try something so we're gonna go in the oven with it and while we're waiting on that to break down I'm just gonna put in a pinch of salt this cook down to the surface consistency that we're looking for we're gonna add in some spices we're gonna add in a little flavor and um, I already have my sweet potatoes I cut them up into like some um, big wafer size big chunks I want them to be thick yeah so if you can see and we're just gonna dump these in a baking uh, for your pan and we're gonna pull that syrup over them put those jokers in the oven and just let them cook down slowly all right this is kind of simmering slowly but I'm gonna go ahead and add my flavors in. I'm just going in with, um, let's see, I'm going to say a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. This is a half teaspoon uh, measuring spoon I have, so that's two, that's a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna add in just a little lemon um, extract, y'all. I'm not gonna say quite a half, maybe about a fourth, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it with this. I'm too lazy to pull out everything, but I'm just gonna say about a fourth of that. Turn this down. It's smelling good, y'all. It almost kinda smelling like, um, cause you, oh goodness, I'm gonna rub 
burn myself up. It almost smelling like um, caramel, because you know this is another way that you can do caramel. So let me hurry up, because that's not what we are trying to do here. Let me add just a dash of water to this. How about that? There we go. Woo! Have to be careful with it with the sugar on top of the stove. All right, so I'm getting that. Okay, so let's say y'all um, about two tablespoons of water because if you don't, it's gonna really be like a caramel syrup. That's not what we want. Actually, enough just to kind of bring it together. We want we don't want to cook it to caramel. We just want to kind of loosen everything up. So that was our flavor there. Now let's go in with some spices. I'm just gonna eyeball it with the cinnamon. Uh, depends on how much cinnamon you like. In my yams, I, I, I like the cinnamon and nutmeg, but I just kind of prefer a little bit nutmeg, more nutmeg over the cinnamon. Because the way my mama taught me to make yams, she, got, she didn't use nothing but just um, nutmeg and butter, honey. I just started doing the flavoring all that other stuff, honey. Mom didn't use nothing but nutmeg and butter, and those were the best yams, but I just like a lot of spices when it comes to nutmeg and cinnamon. So yeah, and see how loose it is? Matter of fact, let me add a little bit more water because I want it to be enough to cover um, um, those potatoes. And then we don't, you don't want it to just come all the way over the potatoes because sugar itself makes enough, um, sugar breaks down to water. So when it gets into the oven, it's gonna all just come together. So we want it to be more of a candy-like um, form. So when you pick up a patty, it will just be full of good syrupy candy-like. Candy patty. <laughs> All right. Smells wonderful. Okay, we're gonna turn this oven off. That's our syrup. Okay, y'all. This is just me doing this, y'all. don't have to do this. I'm gonna add me just a little bit more nutmeg. Okay, so you see how, how liquid, how liquidy it is? It's not thick. Like I said, we, we're not making caramel. We just want to bring all of our sweetness and spices and flavor together to form this good liquid syrupy like. So we're gonna just pour this over. We're gonna pour this over our um, sweet potatoes. We're gonna get them in the oven. I got the oven already preheated at 350 degrees. And like I say, these has already been cut, sliced, washed. I'm gonna put them in the um, pan, spread them out. Caramel syrupy syrup, and just pour this all over. I guess it's okay. Ooh, I'm gonna cook on that. All right, I want y'all to see this, honey, because when we pour this over, to see what we're doing, we just go all over. And once it gets in the heat, start all cooking together and sweating now because we are going to cover this with some good old heavy aluminum foil and we know aluminum foil going to hold that steam in honey because we want this thing to really be what's going to help moisten and soften and cook these potatoes down because we got them cut kind of thick now you can cut them thin like this but on the stove on top of the stove i definitely would suggest not to cook your potato not to cut your potatoes thin Kind of cut them into some, you know, like thick uh, surface, like how I got them here, or some thick squares. Because when you start stirring them on top of the stove, they would start tearing and break it up easily. But if you're gonna do it this way, it'll be okay to, to um, cut them up thin. The thinner they are, the, um, the sooner they will, will cook. All right, we got all of our sugar mixture on this, y'all. Okay, 
are looking good. And at this point, if you think you want to add a little bit more something on top or whatever, um, you can. Okay. Y'all, I always have to add a little something different. You don't have to do this. This is optional. And all of our ingredients, the description will be below. And I'm just going to, when I say optional, that means only if you want to give it a try. But I'm just going to shake just a little clove on top of this, y'all. Just a little bit. Not much, because we know clothes, honey, can speak for itself. It don't take but just a little bit of it. But it just really blends in really good, too, um, with your cinnamon and the, the nutmeg. Brown sugar. We know brown sugar has molasses in it. So that's a lot of good, good ingredients that's going to be bound together to form our sweet potato yam patties. Fake sweet potato yam patties. Okay, that's what we're gonna call them. I'm gonna double wrap these because I wanna trap in all that cream. No, I'm not gonna put a slit on top because I don't want no steam to vent. I want everything to stay in. I no, we don't want nothing to vent out. We don't want nobody coming out. Everybody got to stay in and cook together, honey. So this can really be good. All right, y'all. We got this ready, and we are taking this to the oven. It's ready. It's preheated already. It's at 350 degrees, and we're going in. And I'm going to let this bake for about, let's say about um, maybe uh, an hour, but I'm going to check it in 30 minutes increments just to see where we are. And we will be back. Okay, y'all, now while the potatoes, our um, sweet potato patties are in the oven, baking down, I'm gonna cut this one quick cabbage up. This is gonna be a quick dinner. We got the hardest part out the way last night, which are chitlins. Yes, I said it, yes. Oh, unclutch. Your pearls, honey. Don't clutch your pearls. Yes, I said chitlins. We're having today, y'all, chitlins with some smothered cabbage greens and some baked sweet potato patties. Yes. So I'm just gonna cut this quick cabbage up. And I'm gonna kind of it down the way my daddy used to do it. So for the meat that's gonna go into the cabbage, um, I just took some thick slices of salt pork. Uh, I think I grabbed like four slices each. And let me show you what to eat with them. That's already ready. I just took like three or four slices each and I just let them cook down to some hard, kind of look like bacon, um, but this is salt pork. And um, I did it like this because we're gonna smother these cabbage. And then the grease that render off them, that's what we're gonna pour over them. So this is another good old-fashioned way my dad would have to I would have to leave him a couple strips out to crunch on while he's um, eating on his cabbage but yeah we're just gonna cut this cabbage up real quick this is another quick way y'all that you can cook something either through the week or today is Sunday, so still cabbage is it's always quick. If you feel like you wanna eat like a green, some type, some type of green. And I know I'm just go all the way around that head. You know, normally, you know, the, the green is part, the leaves that's around it. Some people probably throw them away, but I just take them and I just roll them up. Kind of almost like I would my, um, my collar, but I just kind of cut these up into some ribbon-like shapes. Just throw them on over there. This is our cabbage here. And I'm gonna go and rinse these off 
get ready to put them in the boiler and we'll be back. Okay, our boiler is hot. We're gonna go in with just a little water. This may be about a half a cup of water. And we're just gonna start uh, putting our greens in. You don't never have to have much water to um, kind of smother because they're gonna do the breaking down themselves. And this is another quick way um, that you can cook cabbage, cabbage greens. Of course, you know, you can take your salt, your salt meat, and you can, you can buy the ones that the, the block that's not, that's not sliced, already pre-sliced, and you can cut them up into some chunks. You can boil them like you would your smoked uh, meat. Like I say, you can, you can boil smoked meat, you can mix the salt pork together, however, you know, if you're boiling the greens, so we, we're not gonna, this is not like a boiling process today. all these in and this is just only one head which will feed um, probably about six to eight people still but normally when I'm cooking for the whole clan I will do two heads for sure in a bigger size pot I think this pot here may be something like five quarts but I'm still using, I'm still gonna use everything that I normally would to season it if I was doing my boiling because I just when something um, works don't change it. So when I'm boiling greens, my peas, butter beans, whatever, I use the same seasoning that you normally see me use. And there's salt, uh, just a dab of sugar, vinegar, red pepper flakes, and of course, honey, the lard. But in this case today, we're not going to do lard because we actually fried and render all the um, grease off of the salt pork. So that pretty much made it lard. Plus, it's going to give it that little, that little punch of funk that comes from the fat pork, if you kind of know what I'm saying. So, anyway, we're gonna um, let this here sweat. No, let me just go ahead. I'm gonna put all my stuff in here. We'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's sweat down. So I'm going in with salt. And don't forget too, you know, when you're cooking greens, even if you start out with seasoning with salt and then the salt uh, pork, you just wanna make sure you taste to you don't want to over salt your food and then make sure that it is enough of salt going in with our red pepper flakes and next our vinegar and when i use vinegar y'all it can either be the white or it can be um the brown apple cider it doesn't matter in this case here, I'm gonna just do two cap four. That's gonna get it for that one head of cap. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour over, oh, oh, let me do a little dab of sugar. And then I'm just gonna go over with this good old oil off the salt pork. I think that ought to get it. I'm gonna use all of the shoots. Now, if you want to, uh, this way, or if you're boiling your, your cabbage greens, you can you can throw in, um, if you want to half in the oil, and then I would say, hey, just throw in you two um, tablespoons of butter. Because, you know, butter actually gives cabbage a really good flavor. And if you don't want to use oil at all, then go with just um, a half a stick of butter. Yeah, it really gives it a good flavor. But, you know. or it's all about keeping those good flavors in. So we're gonna just, just let this here cook down. I'm not gonna put um, the salt pork on there just yet. I'm going to um, let it sweat down. Then we're gonna put the salt pork in. That was my timer. So let's see what these sweet potatoes are looking like at the 30 minute mark. Well, just leave it on there. Y'all wrap this little bit of time out with me. Hope I'm not being too bored to you guys. 
I wish I had Mackenzie here with me today, y'all. That way she can have this camera on every move. Okay, it's looking, it's it's looking okay, but I can look at it and tell. I don't even have to get my fork to try to touch it to see has it if it started to tenderize yet because um, I can tell that it has not. So I said about an hour. These things are gonna have to cook almost probably two hours to really get to where we're looking for. So that's just good. I just wanted to check it at the 30 minute mark just to see. So yeah, we're gonna change that uh, cook time for those potatoes from an hour to two hours. So let's get back to our how it's sweating down y'all let me tell you something real quick when dad used to get out of work and get home he would walk in the door at 3 30 but let me tell you when he wanted some some smothered cabbage greens and if mom didn't feel like cooking them honey he would get them greens cut them greens up and i didn't never realize how i'm like i can walk through the kitchen dad cooking green cut i mean cabbage greens then I'm walking back through the kitchen, and this man's sitting at the table eating, and I'm like, hey, what, what happened that fast? But you know what? I'm going to tell y'all right here. And if I said that wrong, I know my, my brother, he think he Dan Lewis number two. He going to correct me on it. But y'all, when it would get to like this point right here, maybe just a little bit, I would say, but they would, they would be so bright green like this. They would be bright green like this. And dad would throw baking soda on this. Put that top back on there. And next thing you know, though, that baking soda has cooked into those greens and tenderized up in there. And that man would be at the table eating. He would be at the table eating, y'all. All right, so right here, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put, put our um, salt pork in here. I'm just going to let it just cook down. We're not gonna put no more water or anything. Um, you just want it because this is what we call smothering it. So we're just gonna just let it cook down and just let it all do what it do. And we will be back. Okay, y'all, they are sweating down and it's okay to stir the um, salt pork around because you want them to um, break on down into the greens. But just so you'll see what they looking like when they start to um, to sweat down. And see, you, you don't have much water. You don't want. You don't supposed to have much water. Matter of fact, you gonna you gonna notice how the water um, it stays like underneath the greens. You, it's not gonna come above. So that's why we we we, we with just a half a cup of water to one cabbage head. But yeah, this is what um, it should be looking like. And probably about another. Um, oh, my brother will eat them just like this now, honey. He, <laughs> they won't have to cook no longer for him. But I just want, I want the meat to kind of cook down just a little bit more for me. So I'm going to say about, about another 20 minutes, 15, 20, about another 20 minutes, I'll say. But you still want to kind of, you know, have some firmness to your, to your, um, your cabbage but this is what they should look like and we will be back okay we're back y'all just want you to see the cabbage and they are ready I just got them simmering but I'm just gonna turn them off because like I say um, I still want them to um, have you know just a little firmness to them but yeah they are ready I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a quick try try Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. I want to take a peek at these um, potatoes here. And they have been cooking an hour. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to just, just kind of double dip 
double dip the circle on top and then I'm gonna leave the next uh, few minutes uncovered while I do this. Y'all, they smell so good. And you see what I mean when I say you kind of cut them thick and you can just kind of like, yeah, see, I don't want to get them apart because they're already tender. So I'm just going to let these just kind of, you see how how the syrup looks? Yes, gravy syrup. <laughs> yeah, y'all, these things look so good and they smell so good. So I'm going to let these off. Uh, just kind of cook a few minutes uncovered just so they can just kind of like caramelize and kind of just stick together a little bit um, oh and what I did do that uh, you didn't see me do um, the after the 30 minute mark check the first 30 minutes check I sprinkled just a little bit more white sugar on top so just you know that let's see what this is looking like still a little jiggly I thought y'all would've got a chance to see me put my little egg wash on top, but we ain't gonna worry about that because that's not part of the video. But anyway, that's our, uh, those are our um, candy patties, sweet potato patties, and our greens are ready. So y'all, we will be back when all this is ready. And well, we're gonna go ahead and end the video now. So I think I'm gonna kinda muck bang on this. So thanks for watching the video. Please try the dishes that I did uh, today. I will smother cabbage greens, I will bake sweet potato patty yams, and um, let me know what you think. And also, let me know what you would do differently. So y'all have the best blessed Sunday. Help somebody, love somebody, and rejoice all while you're doing it. Thanks again for watching. Bye.